Hey guys, I'm so excited that you guys are here. Awesome, awesome. Gotta find Joel once he jumps on and Kevin. A lot of people on here. It's like we have a celebrity or something. Hmm. Hmm. He's kind of easy on the eyes too. All right, who unmuted themselves? Joel did. <laughs> I heard Lauren Duke was on here, so obviously hey! like, yeah, there's 100 people out here. Of course they want to see you. What's oh, up, it's babe? for you. It's for you. Uh, <laughs> look at you, Joel. Look, I'm totally rocking it. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's asleep. Oh, he's... He was asleep, so now he's going to be, gonna be like, oh, super pissed off. Gonna, and he's going to scratch you. He's so oh, cool. No, he's just unhappy now. So I woke up. <laughs> Hi! Oh my gosh. Still pissed off. Yeah. Right, go. Like I hate you right now so much. You know what? That cat, seriously, like he is. So he started this new thing where, uh, like it was a couple months ago, where now he decides it's time to get up. And so, like at five a.m., he jumps on the bed. He's, he's almost sixteen pounds. He's not light. He's a huge bangle and walks around and just finds the right spots. And you got, ladies, you know the spots I'm talking about, guys, especially like where you've been asleep all night and you really got to pee. So like he just like starts kneading right on the bladder and other areas to really wake you up. So he's, yeah. Like I don't a really child. Feel, I don't feel bad for waking him up. Like he, he, that cat has learned how to fly in the mornings at this point. It's payback. It's payback. I love him. He's <laughs> all right. Everybody's getting on. Wow. He's a ton of people. Yeah. Well, this is good. This is my last call tonight, so I'm not, like, all stressed for time, which is awesome. Oh, so you can stay on unlimited. That's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't say unlimited. Oh. Do, like, I'm getting kind of hungry, but, um, yeah, I don't have, like, a hard out, like, 28 minutes from now, so that's good. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, I really – what are you drinking? Is that Fresca? Yeah. Fresca. Not a beer. Not yet. No, I, it's, not, it's not cheat day. Treat day. Um, yeah, and today killed me. I was, I loved it so much. You guys, it's so fun to see everybody get so as jazzed um, as some of us in the Lift for Test group have been like totally giddy for others to try this program because, um, you know, we've been sharing chatter. And Joel, you asked us a question like, why is this program different? What do you love about it? And I mean, everybody just gushed about how it's freedom. It's yeah. like, totally and you remember the first week we were just like it's wednesday and i feel like i'm supposed to do something and you told me to have a rest day and i've never done that before and you were like chill relax, relax. just go and have fun relax is the relax is the theme of this program totally and it was like once we had permission to do that people are going and like having fun and having you know doing things with their families and realizing i haven't snuggled with my kids in forever i haven't no. um gone swimming i'd paddle boarded in like nine months and i i get to swim, i like to see dolphins you know What's and that? that's the whole concept of this program so to see everybody else get so excited about it i know that must feel really good yeah it no it does and, and look the more i'm just like now that we're in now we're in it i mean like it, it, it's on sale holy crap it's out um and it, it's crazy but you know knowing knowing what you guys have gone through now, uh, which has been awesome, and, and seeing how your, you guys have transformed, not just physically. I mean, look, if the program didn't work, physically it wouldn't be out. Like, let's, let's just keep it very simple and very easy yeah. to understand. Um, but mental, like your mental mind shift has been awesome. Yeah. It's that's, been, that's just, been, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, that's, that's been one of the best parts for me. Like, look, it's a workout program. You're going to get great results, but like, the fact that you, like I'm watching everyone and I can't wait to see everybody else like just go live your damn life and work out and see results and live your life like that's it yeah people posting like I ate this whole pizza and I haven't allowed myself to have pizza and I've been craving it and it's like why didn't you eat the pizza you know it was like this I can't do that or I I can't I mean we have people going to parties and we have people just having the best time and not feeling guilty and that goes along with, you know, when 2B Mindset came out, I'm going to mix you guys together just a little bit. And it was like this freedom and this yeah. stop having shame and stop having guilt and stop being so rigid. And then Lift 4 comes out and you're just like reiterating and going 
yeah, guys, like fitness should not define your life. And I, I, um, the call is full. There's no way I have like unlimited. Uh oh. <laughs> um, sorry. It says the call is full, but that yeah, is impossible. Like maxed out at a hundred. It looks like. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I have like the mag mega membership, so um, uh -uh. I want my money back. Yeah. So okay, we keep going. But you said something today about a fitness program shouldn't um like alter your life; it should enhance it. And it was yeah. like that's totally right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. So tell us where Live Four came from. Uh okay. Little <laughs> travel history. Um. So, okay, when it came to Live 4, this was, this was a really cool opportunity uh, to do a lot of different things. But let me, like, so for those of you who don't know me, hi, everybody, by the way. I don't think I said hi. That's rude. I was raised in Texas. You have to say hi. You have to say bye. You have to be a children. Um, so when it came, so for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Joel Freeman. It's right there on the screen. And uh, I've been in the fitness industry now for over 15 years, in, in the health and fitness industry for over 15 years. And I've done seriously every position uh, when it comes to health and fitness. And I started at the front desk of the gym and worked my way up. So I've been in the business side of fitness more than anything else. And um, you know, what I've realized or what's been bugging me about this is the fact that we, we're still having the same conversations. Like every year, we still have the same thing. Like, 80% of the population is not working out and blah, blah, blah. Like, and now everybody says they don't have time to work out. Like, we're, we're still, we still seriously have the exact same issues, um, which I'm like, wow. All right, well, we're clearly missing something. And um, so I started thinking, like, okay, let's just think of this in a very, very broad perspective about people. The mass population, the general population, 95% of this population, if not more, 98 <laughs> want let's think let's just think about ourselves for instance we all want to be healthier we want to be happier we want to look good naked and we want tacos on tuesday right yeah taco tuesday man come on is it tuesday yet no it's monday damn it um um i, don't know, I was trying to think of manicotti monday i don't know like you come up with anything so you know but like you want pizza you want wine like you want to live your life and because that's the thing is like and yes your life is not supposed to revolve around food but let's be honest it kind of does right because we're surrounded by it so let's Let's, let's, let's be realistic in this fashion. And, you know, social aspects of it, you know, require going out to dinner and having food and drinks. Like, that's just reality. And personally, I don't think there's any problem with that. Um, but what happens is, you know, people want this, but they're just, there hasn't been anything to give them the understanding of how they can do all of it, um, where you can basically have your cake and eat it too. So um, I was like, okay, let's go after this. And we've got, we've kind of been trending the past, you know, five-ish years, maybe more to this all or nothing mentality. And, and look, programs are going to give you amazing results okay. no matter what. Look, let's take Court of Force, for instance, one of my personal favorites. Um, Court of Force is the 30-day shredding program. It's an amazing program to get you as shredded as possible in 30 days. But that has a specific goal at the end of it. So, of course, like, we're, we're, you're going to have to work your butt off because it's only 30 days, so you're doing something every single day. That's awesome. That's not sustainable. And that's really where I went after this is with, okay, so with Live4, I wanted to create something that was realistic, that was sustainable, that would still obviously get you amazing results, but something that you could just keep going with and not feel like you're missing out. Like you can't have FOMO of your life because if fitness is giving you the fear of missing out on your life, the first thing to go is the fitness because that there like it's just gone and that's why people quit that's why there's that's why we have an attrition problem that's why people quit the gym that's why people quit workout programs so that's where lift four comes in is this was the first program i truly feel that you mold around your life not the other way around you're muted babe i am not a good lip reader <laughs> and would you say this is kind of how you work out mm. that's exactly how i work out yeah this is how this is exactly this is how I work out. This is how my wife works out. If you've seen pictures of her, <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> um, and yeah, I married, I married that by the way. And uh, it's how I used to train clients. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, this is just it's real. It's realism. Like, let's be real. There's, I mean, this is our job. This is my job. This is your job. You know, your guys' jobs as coaches is health and fitness, but not the rest of the world. And even a lot of you still have like real jobs and daytime jobs and things like that. So it's like, seriously, like, let's be real here. Like health and fitness 
can't take over somebody's life because that's not their life. Their life or their, is your family, your kids, your job, your all the craziness. Like this is simply just supposed to enhance it. This is supposed to make you be able to deal with that stuff um, yeah. and live longer and, and be healthier and, and be able to pick up your kids without hurting your back. Like all of that, like that is what this is supposed to be. And look good naked. Let's not forget that. That's really important too. It is kind of important. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, wear a bathing suit and have confidence and like what you see and like how you feel. Yeah, I want to feel good in my two piece. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> you know, <I> know. <laughs> Um, so within the test group, like it's been real, I, I don't want to be like within the test group, within the test group, but that's been my experience. And so it's been really cool and a great opportunity to be able to share kind of behind the scenes. Um, we've transformed quickly. Yeah. Like I, I'm in shock, you know, after four weeks, it was like, what the heck? People are posting day one you know, week one, day one, week four, and we're just like, oh my gosh, what the heck? And explain how, you know, as people are like, all right, why is this any different, you know, than yeah. any other program? What's the difference? So there's a couple of things on this. Like one, I went, I, I seriously went back to, um, you know, I went back to basics from the exercise science standpoint of just how the program is put together. Um, and the reason I did that is because, look, when we want to build muscle, and burn calories it doesn't always have to be complicated like we we seriously are just wanting to make sure that you're going after specific muscles so i went to i went back to this, uh, back old school of classic weightlifting which is three sets of 10 hypertrophy training um just basic weightlifting 101 so with that when you go basic and classic conditioning styles like this like instead of doing complex uh compound exercise weightlifting exercises where you basically think about this, for instance, when you're doing a, you know, so again, nothing wrong with these exercises. We're just talking about this program, for instance. So when you do compound complex exercises, if you do like a bicep curl with a curtsy lunge into a squat overhead press, you're doing like three different things. You're working your weakest muscle. So you could do more weight with your curtsy lunge, but you can't because you're curling it. So you have to play to your weakest muscle. So in the world of weightlifting, really, for instance, you shouldn't ever have the same weights for chest that you do for your biceps or you do for your shoulders. Like the weights have to be different because every muscle is different. And that's what lift four does in terms of the lifting component. So that's why three sets of 10. So that's what's happening there. In doing that, you're, la you're able to go heavier. You're able to challenge your muscles. Basic, what, at high level, basically what happens is the minute you make your muscles lift more than they're willing to do or they're used to doing, you create these little, and this is like scary sometimes, but you create microscopic tears in your muscles. You're tearing your muscle. Like, in the good and healthy way, trust me. Um, because what that's doing, and then that sends a signal to your muscle saying, whoa, we got to work harder next time. And that's, it's, it's called recruiting more motor units. So basically, long story short, when you break down your muscle, that's what happened. That's what's happening when we lift. You are making yourself actually weaker during that time. That's why at the end of it, we're like, I can't lift my arms. Good. That means you have exhausted your muscles. So what's happening, this is why, uh, Lauren, you guys have seen such amazing strength increases so quickly is because this is the first time though now you are giving yourself the full time to recover versus going straight into it. Like there's so much overtraining happening. You guys don't realize it. Um, so that's where this comes from is so in going classic weightlifting, uh, techniques, really isolating the muscles, um, making you go after the heavier weights, you're making your body work and stay stronger. So, and we've, you, you might've heard the tagline, the results are in the recovery. That's where it happens because you're giving your body finally the amount of time it needs to fully recover. That's why personally, I only work chest once a week. I only work legs once a week. I work these body parts once a week because that gives me the full amount of time for those muscles to recover, come back stronger, work the soreness out and be ready to go again. Uh, from the hit component, that's just, you know, look, the hit component, uh, there's a lot of benefits to it. We don't have time to go after it. Um, it sucks. You're going to hate me a lot, but you are doing so much. Like high intensity interval training because of that um, optimizes your caloric burn, uh, increases lung capacity. Like there's all these, you know, different reasons for it. And look, traditional cardio sucks. Um, this is the way to do it. Cardio is cardio. So this is a great way of doing it. And, and really getting it done in just full metabolic and, uh, and caloric burn. Um, and, that, and that's it. So then you're just really, you're good to go on that. So that's why, you know, that's very, you know, kind of sciencey, but like a high level sciencey, like 
That's why this program works so well because 30 to 40 minutes, what normally you do in an hour to hour and a half, 30 to 40 minutes, the pacing is ridiculous, but you guys did that hopefully the pre preview workout, you saw it, your longest break is, Lord will back me up, ever is 60 seconds. That's all you get. So if y'all are doing stories during your workouts, I know you're taking a longer break than 60 seconds, okay? Busted, and you tag me in it, like I'm not gonna see this stuff. Um, do your workout, then do all your stories and crap like that, okay? Seriously, give yourself 30 to 40 minutes for you, then, then do the rest of the stuff, please. Um, don't cheat yourself on this because this pacing, if you like that is where that's where the results come from is, is pushing yourself and then giving yourself time to recover on that. Yeah. And I will say, answer, but yeah. no, it was not, awesome. it was so good because when you're reiterating it, I can be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cause even yes. today was, it was chest. And what did you do? Chest and back. And it was Monday, so you guys are on weekend. Yeah, so chest, chest and back. Chest and back. Yeah, and cool. we have this awesome tracker. You guys, and I've never been one to be like, I'm going to write my weights down. Because honestly, my weights never changed. With this, <laughs> honestly, with this program, I started with 10s. Next week, I'm trying 15s. And maybe I'm not doing all three rounds, but I tried them. The next week, I'm doing all three rounds with 15. I'm now up to like the, the most weight I've ever in my life, pressed, pushed, lifted, rode, done at all. And, and it's, it's the best feeling ever to pick up a weight and be like, well, let's give this a go. And then to push it for all three so now, so what's your, what's your chest weight now? I did 35 today, 70 pounds. So eight <laughs> weeks. Seriously, so think about this. Like th this is what's kind of crazy guys. So like eight weeks. Okay. So like, that's not very long. Eight weeks which means that she only, Lauren just did her eighth chest workout. She only worked chest eight times in eight weeks, but in terms of how you press your weight, how you let your muscles recover, she went from 10 pound dumbbells to 35 pound dumbbells in eight workouts. Like it really is this simple. The, the, the reason I want to iterate this is because everyone is just so fixated on the longer you work out, the better, or the, you know, the more you work out, the better, like you're over training. We're over training. And look, I'm guilty of it too. I did it for years. I taught teaching group exercise classes. I was teaching like multiple classes a day and like so many classes a week. And then like, well, now I need to go train too. And I wasn't seeing anything happen. Like I've seen more results doing this than anything I've ever done. And, and, and it's like, it, and once I finally said, okay, I'm just going to dedicate my life to this because I know this is the safest thing to do, the most effective thing to do to help prevent injuries, like dumbbell train as well. Like that's why, that's why I also went dumbbells only, by the way, um, in terms of safety, effectiveness, like dumbbell training uses uh, so many other benefits too, besides just the weightlifting component, grip strength. People always complain about your grip strength. This is the best way to do it. Um, there are, you know, we're not doing any compression exercises, so you don't put anything on your back which is huge for back issues. I have back issues that I have to think about from years of overtraining this myself. Like there's all kinds of benefits to this and we don't have time to talk about, but like eight, think about that, eight workouts, 10 to 35. That's what I'm talking about. That makes me excited. It does. And then the pullover, like I'm just so jazzed that I'm like, when you're calling out the weights for the guys, I'm like, yeah, I'm totally lifting that too. Yeah. I'm feeling really good. Okay, we have tons of questions. Yeah, I know you're school. getting hungry. All right, so start with breastfeeding. Yeah. There doesn't say how to address it in nutrition plan. Uh, well, so for sure, when it comes to breastfeeding, um, breastfeeding and pregnancy, period. Let's talk about that. So breastfeeding for one, uh, let's go back up. Because you, you have to be pregnant before you can breastfeed. Um, I think that's how it works. Yeah. Um, if you're pregnant, cool, great. Get your doctor's clearance first. You have to be cleared for exercise. And then, you know, look. Because you still need to exercise, you still need to move, but it's just going to be up to you. Like it's going to be in terms of like, and you're going to have to modify, of course, as you progress too. Because you know, as you progress in your second, third trimester, you're not supposed to lay flat on your back. You know, all these different things. So make sure you know what the modifications are. But yes, you can absolutely still do it. Um, now you're breastfeeding. Yeah, congratulations, muscle top. Um, when it comes to breastfeeding, I believe it's uh, 500 extra calories is what's suggested for uh, up in your calorie bracket. But with that said. You got to make sure you're talking with your doc and because every body is different. Every pregnancy is different. Every person is different. Um, so make sure because everybody, every, your need is different. And with all that said too, serious ladies, excuse me, you, I mean, like I stubbed my toe and I'm out for a week. Like you guys, the, 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 the shit that you do is amazing. It really, really is. And I, I bow down to all of you because it's phenomenal. So give yourself, a, like mentally give yourself a break. Like after you have your baby, like 
you just brought this living thing into the world. Like that is ridiculous. Your body's going through a lot of changes. So like in terms of getting your pre baby body back, you got to give it time. Like, and you're, you're not only brought something into the world, now you're sustaining it <laughs> for like, who knows how long in terms of breastfeeding. Like, so give your body a break. Like I know, you know, you see there's, there's people out there who spit out a baby and they run a marathon. It's crazy. Uh, but like, don't, don't ever try to compare yourself to anybody else because you do that. You're like, like, you're just going to be unhappy. So seriously, relax on that. Good call. And we did have some people in the program, in the test group who were pregnant, found out yeah. when they started and have done yeah. the program mm -hmm. to, you know, the whole time, but have modified, have not followed the nutrition plan yeah. because hello, you have aversions, you have cravings, all that stuff. But when you feel better, stick with it. When you're having a bad day, don't stick with it. Yeah. And like, look, if you want triple chocolate, mint, peanut yeah. butter, ice cream, because that's what your baby says with jelly on top and friggin' eat it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a great question that um, has come up a lot. What kind of weights or what's the weight range that you would suggest? So for, uh, for ladies to start, I would say you need to have between 5 and 20s available. A lot, you know, like don't be afraid of them heavy weights. Um, so between 5 and 20s would be great uh, to start. And then guys, 10 to 30s, it just depends on your fitness level as well. Um, if you say, well, I've been weightlifting for a while, one, I'm going to ask you what kind of lifting you've been doing. And two, you haven't done this yet. So just remember the pacing is pretty intense. Um, but you're going to get really strong, really fast. You just got to you have to challenge yourself. So again, if you're doing like back to that other point, if you're doing, and I know right now it's still brand new, you know, people need to get weights and stuff and you're figuring yourself out. That's why it's great because you have the, the before lift four workouts and you have time to figure this all out before July 16th. But you know, like I get tagged and I love watching, but I'm watching people do like, the same set of dumbbells for all the program, like that ain't gonna fly. Like start challenging yourself, like do yourself justice with this and, and get some weights. That's really good. And there's some moves where you will drop the weights and just use your arms because they're yeah. heavy. They're super heavy. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. Look, there's, and look even in the, the, uh, the, the B4 lift four workout, uh, today it was chest and back, the shorter version, 20 minutes. Uh, there's still a burnout. You guys, by the way, you're not supposed to be able to finish a burnout. Like Lauren and the team had to come into that realization really quick. Like I was like, oh we're my God. Just, we're just finishing them and like, I just did all the push-ups. <laughs> yeah, but look, okay. I can't, but that's the point. You're not supposed to be ever able to finish a burnout because burnout, think of the word. It means nothing is left at the very end. So it's like, as you progress in your weight, like, uh, you know, when I do – when I did chest, we did chest and triceps uh, a couple of days ago, Brian and I did, and um, we did the burnout. And the last 30 seconds of each move, we just laid on the ground looking at each other because we couldn't push up. Like, that's what a burnout is. So, like, it's just, like, push yourselves, guys. Do, like, if you finish the pro if you finish the workout, you're like, that wasn't so bad. You didn't do enough weight. I agree with you. You want to, like, be dead. And when you're doing those tricep push-ups, you want to be like, I'm going to fall on my face because I literally cannot hold myself up. Yeah. Oh, okay, really? Don't but don't smash your face with the pullovers or the skull crushers. Yeah. Um, bad. So we, I'm gonna mesh a couple together. Um, okay. We're getting asked like, what if you know I'm used to working out five to seven days? How do you talk to someone about just working out for four? And can you mix cardio in on those other like? Can you do? Can you run like two days a week? Can you do other things? What if you teach a class, a fitness class? Can you do this program? Yeah. So look, uh, let's talk about the rest days first. We'll go. So we'll do the second part of the question and we'll go back to the first part. Um, look, rest days simply mean you're not doing this program. Rest days just simply mean you're not lifting and you're not going to do any hit. That's it. Because for all those reasons I already told you about all the sciencey stuff. Um, but whatever else that entails, have fun, go forth and run and bike and swim and play tennis like Lauren does, like whatever those things are, like that's the point you guys is to still be active and still live your life. Now, I mean, if you're teaching, you know, group X, it's like a pyo class or something like that. That's, that's actually going to be good. Um, hopefully yoga. Cause you're going to want to stretch, stretch. Oh my God. You're going to want to stretch. You're not going to want to like your muscles aren't going to want to because they're like, <clears throat> but do it seriously. Like stretch out. That's going to, that, that's going to totally help you with that. Um, you know, but just like, just don't lift, just don't hit. That's it. Like, don't put any more thought into it. Like, I can't, I can't 
like simplify this anymore uh, about doing that aspect of it. Um, with the to the, the 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 first part of the question about like, well, I've been working out five six days a week. What about this? Look, take it as long take it take it or leave it at this point. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna. If the program didn't work, it wouldn't come out, guys. Okay, like seriously, like from that standpoint, like I don't I want that to sound like. I don't know what the word is at this point. I'm, I'm getting hungry. Um, brain starts to shut down. But pretentious, maybe? I don't want to say, like, hey, this program works, so do it. No, look, the program wouldn't come out if it didn't get amazing results, right? Like, that, like let's just think about this logic. Like Beachbody would not put a program out that doesn't work to some extent. Um, if someone doubts it, challenge them. Like, I challenge anybody to come into this program and tell me that it wasn't challenging or it wasn't hard or that they can't get just as good of a workout for four days. Like, you guys, I've been doing this for years, and I, my triceps and chest still hurt from three days ago. Like, you just keep going. It's just, it's so realistic, it's so sustainable, you just have to do that. Now look, if so, and to that point too, just think about this, I also really am not super, like, passionate about going after someone who's already working out. To be honest with you, like I'm going out to the people who are sitting on their butts right now, not working out. You know, let's rewind back to the first thing I, one of the first things I said tonight. Eighty percent of the population, that's who we have to go at. Like, let's not, like, let's not go to that person who's like going to the gym every day and like they may or not be getting results, but if they're happy, bye, have fun, go forth. And if they want to, if they finally are unhappy and they come to me and ask me my advice, then I'm going to tell them. But I'm not going to go after someone who's already working out. That's like saying, hey, let's go. Let's go have dinner. I oh, know we just ate, but let's go have dinner now. Like, it doesn't make sense. So let's go out to the people. The low-hanging fruit to me are the people who are saying, oh, my God, give me something. But think about all those people who have told you no up until this point where that program is too long. Those workouts are too long. I don't have time for this. I can't meal prep. I can't. Like, all those I can'ts, those are the people you should be going after for this program because those are the people that this program, I mean, is tailored to. So, um, yeah, like, does four days work better than five and six and seven? For this, 100%. Believe it or not, it'll be, and I think, uh, I mean, look at Lauren. Lauren, flex for me. That works. Same. I like my back the most. And Your my back, ass. You're, and, you're, yeah. and my legs and my whole body. <laughs> um, it's been fun. It's just like, what? Every day you go, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Um, so I know you're starving and your brain is not functioning. Okay. But I want to answer all the questions. So let's keep going. Okay. So, um, and they're great questions. Um, all right. So I I did want to say one thing. The rest days are needed because mentally you go harder on the days that aren't rest days. And then you are so thankful for those rest days. Like today was hard. Tomorrow is going to be hard. And Wednesday, I'm going to be so thankful to rest that I'm not even going to give it a second thought. And the first week I was like, oh my gosh, but these workouts become more intense and you start to lift more. And I literally was a puddle. And so those people are like, I don't really sweat and my heart rate's not really getting up. They're not lifting enough. They're not doing enough and they're not getting to the burnout and literally like dying. And so that, if you, if you, (laughs) Yeah, seriously, guys, if you ever, if you see anybody, and like, I'll, I'll call them out too, like, if you ever see anybody doing 30 second burnout on their toes, they didn't lift heavy enough. Like, that, yeah. So, like, call them out. Yeah. Call you out. Call them out. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. is this workout for plus size people? This workout is for everybody. Um, I know, like, some of the, you know, some of the, the collateral, the lift for collateral that you guys see, it does say this is an intermediate to advanced program. Uh, that, you know, like, look, that's, it's like the, you have to say that because it's a little, you know, because think of the pacing, the, you know, it's, it is a little bit higher intensity in terms of, of how fast it goes. But this program is absolutely for everybody because, look, it's you against you, your weight selection, how fast you go, what modifications you need to do. It's, it's you against you. Like, there's nothing, you're not comparing yourself to anything else. So, um, it, and I, I have, I've gotten some great messages from people uh, on, on, on social media, like one had, one lady had over a hundred pounds to lose. Another, another gentleman had over 50 pounds to lose asking if they could do this program. I'm like, yeah. Now look, the thing to remember though, is that's a lot. Like, so if someone is, is really like, we're not talking 20 pounds, we're talking 50 plus, like think about it this way. It didn't take you eight weeks to gain 50 pounds. It didn't take you eight weeks to get to the point where you're have a hundred pounds to lose. So like I told them, I was like, look, yes, you can do this. This is just, but this is the start of a journey. 
like this, like, but I told them like, I will be here every step of the way. I will like, I will help push them past the eight weeks into this and they can do this the rest of their life. And that's where, that's where the results are going to be. So everybody can do it. Uh, but just remember that every, because everybody starts at their own, their own particular starting point. Like that, that's individualized at that point. So after you've done this program for eight weeks, then what? After eight weeks, you just keep going. Um, so yeah, seriously, uh, you could, you could go back to week one, day one, and, and just because you're going to do the weight that you just finished the previous week on. So that's great. Um, but when the, with the workouts themselves, guys, uh, this is a great thing about the digital world is the fact that I was able to write 32 original workouts. And Lauren can back me up on this. Like, it's not the fact that we did the same workout on a different day. It's the fact that every single workout actually changes every single time. Um, the structure, like we I took, uh, you know, similar structures, but then changed the sequencing, changed the variety. So, and so the, what's cool about that is that at the end of the eight weeks, now you have a sense of what these four days a week look like, you know, okay, this day I need to do like chest and triceps, this day I need, like these four days I need to do this. Now you can go pick all your favorite workouts, which is really cool. So you can start moving them around. That's what I do. Um, I don't follow any particular lift for calendar because I wrote them. Um, I pick my favorite ones I pick my favorite iterations the ones that like I know I'm gonna hate that hit but the ones I know I need to focus on or if it kicked my butt or you know like, like you can just start doing a cool variety with it um, after the eight weeks so it's like yeah there's no like there's no taking a break you already have three rest days how many more do you need uh, <laughs> go, back in. go to week 20 go to it's, 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 it's and it literally is a lifestyle because it yeah. fits it fits your life and gives you so much freedom um, Injuries. So we have two questions. One person who has a knee issue and okay. another who has a shoulder impingement. Is this a program they can do with modifications or no? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, shoulder impingements, those are quite common, I know. And you know, it comes a lot from, again, overtraining. Look, you guys, my, my body hurt me more 10 years ago when I was overtraining and teaching so many classes and doing all this stuff than it does now. And I'm 10 years older. Like, that's crazy to me. But, like, that's the reality of it. Like, there's so many, so many things that are happening because of overtraining. So, um, I truly think that if you have uh, overtrained issues, this program is going to help you because you're not going to be trained as much. Uh, so, that's going to help. But in terms of impingements, um, yeah, obviously, like, it, it, you get everything checked out first by a doctor and get cleared to work out in terms of things. But, like, look, if you can't do a push up, that's fine. There's modifications for it. Like you can do a wall push up, or you don't have to even do push ups because you're doing dumbbells. That's also a great thing about dumbbell train, by the way, is because your hands are not in a set space where a lot of people tend to do bar exercises. So when you do like a bar overhead press, your arms can't move side to side because they're set in one spot on the bar. So if you don't have the correct grip, you can actually exacerbate a shoulder issue versus dumbbells. You work with your range of motion. So it's just a whole nother uh, perk of dumbbell training. So Shoulder issues, totally do it. Uh, and then knee issues, one, if you're, because someone just messaged me about this today, like, they're like, my knee hurts, how should I modify? I'm like, go to the freaking doctor. Like, if your knee hurts, go get it checked. <laughs> like, and, and if it really hurts, get an MRI. Like, you got to know what's wrong with your body before you start uh, doing something with it. Or, like, they're like, should I ice it? Should I do this? I'm like, no, you should go to the hospital is what you should do. Um, and get an MRI, but like, so knee issues. Yes. If, if you have issues with, uh, lunges and squats, uh, you can change your range of motion. You can shorten your range of motion. You can lessen it. You can, there's some other options in there. So yeah, anybody can do it. You just modify where you need to. That's so good. Go to the hospital. Oh my God. <laughs> modify. Yeah. <laughs> So what if you get into this program and you're like, all right, I really don't have a lot of weight to lose or yeah, I really don't have a lot of weight to lose, but I want to gain muscle. And the nutrition program says bump up two brackets yeah. um, is the question. Okay. That's a lot of food. So yeah. is that what you suggest? And then talk to me and roll it into why the supplements. You did a great video. You've done a couple of talks about this and you can find them on YouTube guys. Awesome. Talking about nutritional. Yeah. Why is it important to add recovery? And ladies, if you're trying to build muscle, are we talking like, let's add some creatine in there? What are your suggestions? Yeah, let's get some anabolic steroids and just start. Yeah, let's just shoot up. Yeah. You guys be like all Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, yeah, like let's build bulky <laughs> muscle, ladies. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second, but I'm going to circle all the way back to that. Okay.
because Lauren, you knew I was going to say that. I know. Uh, <laughs> so the okay. So first thing in terms of if you yeah, if you don't have a lot of weight to lose, uh, but you you're like you're looking to build muscle, you guys just so you know when we say build muscle, like microscopic size is what we're talking about. Like mil, like whatever smaller than millimeters, it's that. Okay, like we're talking, it's not big stuff. Okay, so it doesn't become bulky, it doesn't become fluffy or anything like that. We're talking small gains, but like over time, you'll start to see it. Um, muscle is that, that's where curves come from. Muscle's not fluffy, that's fluffy. Muscle's fl uh, like muscles lean, it's good, it's amazing. So if you're looking to you know, add muscle to your body, then uh, yes, I know it says uh, going up two brackets. That is a lot of food. What I probably would start with is one for a couple days and see how you feel. Um, the reason they suggest two is just because Lauren, you know, you went, you guys all went through this. Is like, mo like ninety percent of everyone who's going to start this program is actually going to be in a bracket that's too low for them. Even though it's based on their weight, then they look at what they want to do and they put themselves in too low of a bracket because you see the number and you freak out. You guys have to remember that your body is like a car. You put fuel in the car, it goes. If you want your body to perform better, you want your car to perform, like if you want to go faster in your car, you're going to go through more fuel, right? That's the reality, and that's the exact same thing with your body. If you want your body to perform better, faster, stronger, you got to give it more fuel. So that's why I say bump up two calories. Try one, try two. If it doesn't work, it's just some wiggle room. Like you got, like just you can relax a little bit. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just getting the feeling out because every body uh, is different on that one. Uh, in terms of beach body performance. My non-negotiable, Carl likes non-negotiable words, I like non-negotiable, is your beach body recover. It's seriously, you, you gotta have it. Um, and the reason I say that is because protein is the building block for muscle. That is why, like, in any time, <laughs> test group already heard this, y'all are gonna be hopefully in the July 16th test group and everyone's gonna be like, I'm hungry, what do I do? And I'm gonna say, eat. And I'm gonna say eat protein, like because protein is gonna keep you fuller for longer, uh, and and that's what your body is craving, especially as you lift. So uh, it's really important to make sure you get enough protein. But with performance recover, it's huge because you're giving your body the shot of protein it needs after you have uh, worked out within 30 minutes of your workout. That is going straight into your muscles because that's when they're like, oh my god, feed me. They're dying at that point. Uh, it also has the uh, the pomegranate extract and the raspberry ketones, which helps reduce muscle soreness. Then recharge, I think, is a staple for this program as well, or just muscle, not even the program, just lifting in general, recover and recharge, because recharge has the casein protein, which is the slow release protein, which releases while you sleep, which is where your was when your body's recovering at its best. So why not fuel your body that way? Um, I mean, it makes, it's like crazy. I mean, it's like, yeah, you can, you can get you, if you don't, if you don't do beach body performance products at all, you're still going to see great results, but why not see the best results possible in my book? Um, and then for the bulking ladies, just so you know, um, bulking takes testosterone, like big muscles take testosterone. That's, you know, and you know, all big muscly bodybuilder guides, uh, have helped themselves to extra testosterone as well. And we'll leave it at that. Um, ladies, you have the testosterone of a five-year-old boy in your body. Like, that's how much testosterone you have running through your system, okay? So you're, you're not going to get bulky or manly. There's, it, it just isn't manly. There's, not, there's nothing like that. Like, what you will get is you will get Lauren muscles, which is hot, lean, strong, the more muscle on your, the more muscle that you have in your body, the more calories your body burns throughout the day. Resting metabolic rate, RMR. The more, the higher your RMR, the more calories you burn throughout the day, the more fat you burn throughout the day without even lifting anything. Like, there's just so many freaking benefits to lifting. It's incredible. Like, so just take two minutes, Google why women should weight lift and read. It's amazing. And if anybody says that you're gonna look bulkier or manly, um, show them that. Tell them to crack a book. And if it's a guy, they're probably just jealous. Let's be honest. You're probably lifting the same weights as them. Yeah, you, you outlifted them and you, you threatened their manhood, okay? So tell them to lift heavier, seriously. <laughs> um, I wanted to add something. You were talking about the free weights. So a lot yeah. of us started with what, what you suggested, the 5 to like 15. And after week two, we were headed to the store. And there were pictures of shopping carts where we're adding 50s and 20s. My husband went to Walmart and he brought me home the best <laughs> gift ever, two more sets of free weights. We have the select tech weights, but with yeah. the pace of this workout, I was like, click, 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 
missing it. And I didn't want to pause it every time. So having those, I have 15s and 20s as my free weights and 10s and 5s and 8s. Okay, so I have a lot. Um, I have my select text for those big ins because I wasn't using them as much and I can run back and switch that. Yeah. So that's really helped. And that was a discussion that a lot of people had in the test group, the guys especially, because they're having to switch their weights so much and that's what they're using and they were behind, behind yeah. because I didn't want to wait. I didn't, I don't want to take all that time because that's an important part of the program is to keep up with that pace. So you keep your heart rate up and right. yeah. So just wanted to throw that in as a suggestion is don't be scared to go to target and get a couple more free weights because they're really not that expensive and you're going to use them. Yeah. So uh, what I would definitely say that is, you know, and look, it, that that's best case scenario and fully understand that not everybody has that opportunity or, you know, financially or space and all that stuff. So, but yeah, ultimately if you can, <clears throat> that's why I say, if you can at least have between five and 20, so five, 10 and like do it in five, in, do it in five pound increments. Okay. Don't do these, don't do this two pound crap. Okay. Let's go, let's go big five, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Four sets right there. Um, guys, 10, 15, 20, 30, like let's go for this. You just don't, you don't necessarily need to do it because look, if you need a drop, you drop down and you're going to, it's going to really help you out with that one. Um, or use the resistance band. That's a great option too. That's also why we have that option. I'll, let me tell you, I'll tell you a bit more about that in just a second, but just have the weights if you're able to. Um, yes, because you want to stay on pacing as much as possible. Now, if look, if, 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 it, if you have only select text and that's all you have and that's it, it still works. You might have to pause a little bit. Still, and, and you'll, you'll get pretty quick at it and that's fine. But uh, you, if you have to pause, that's fine. It's worst case scenario. Okay. Um, the, the resistance band option is great. The resistance bands with handle. That's why it comes in the challenge packs. Is we did that for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I've got the whole, I travel too much, so I can't follow a workout program. There's that because you can take the resistance bands. They take up this much space in your suitcase. Um, and it's also a great option. So if you can't have a whole bunch of different dumbbells, have some resistance bands next to you as well. They're going to be hard because <laughs> resistance bands suck. The first word is called resistance. They fight you the whole freaking time up and down flexion and, and extension, like constant tension. Okay. I hate them, but they work. Um, so if you need that as an option, use that as an option. Like there's just, again, so, and we did a, a we call it a band of fire option. Uh, so what you guys, you guys will see in the final product when it comes out at 16, um, instead of a modified, a modified split screen, the modified still, the modifier is still there. But there's not a lot of exercise to modify in this program. So we have a band of fire where, uh, you'll see one of the team, using when every time we're in a weightlifting uh, exercise using a resistance band to where they see uh, where you see how to do the exercises so totally a whole new way of doing it um what two resistance bands do you get in the challenge pack what weight uh i believe it is 10 and 20 pound it's either 10 and 20 or 15 and 20 pound i can't remember off the top of my head but you're right like i enough, you're enough. resisting this way and this way and that 20 pound doesn't feel like 20 it feels it feels way worse and yeah. as carrie said men let leg hair and bands not a good combination so. uh yeah just put some tights on you'll be fine <laughs> just wear some tights um we had a question okay so again with 2v if you're doing 2v is it gonna work with lift four are you gonna get the best results doing a 2v mindset program and lift four no you're not um there's a reason that lift four has its own nutrition plan um because we want to make sure because again the way like everything i've said up to this point like i, I think we've figured all that out like you know you gotta make sure that you have uh your macros are in line you're getting enough calories so follow the lift four nutrition plan in terms of calories because the macros are leveled out make sure and if you want and look if you want to check your macros like there's like my fitness pal lose it like there's so many apps out there it's so simple to track your food you just put your food in and it'll actually tell you your macros for you like you don't even have to calculate you just put your food in it's, it's super simple uh my wife and i use brian and i use uh lose it it's free it's it's very in half of the now nowadays you can just scan the barcode of the food and it goes right into it for you it's really cool um so use technology to help you with that now with to be mindset though, let me tell you this. I, I love it. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's I, because I love what Ileana has done because it's simple. You all know I like simplicity. Um, so you definitely I think can pull some of the principles over from the program of you know what does 150 calories look like and you know I love those side by sides of like 
This is what 150 calories of this looks like. This is what 150 calories of this looks like. Uh, so I definitely think you can pull some principles in, but to help you figure out what to eat, um, but just compare it to the, you know, the eating plan, the lift for nutrition plan first. Uh, but you got to follow that. You got to make sure you're giving yourself the calories and the, the macros. So yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay. So good info. Thank you. Did I miss any questions? I really, really tried. If someone has type two diabetes, they can't eat that many carbs per day or drink the drinks with sugar. Suggestions? Uh, yeah. I mean, any, anything that's different, like type one, type two diabetes. I mean, the upside is type two for the most part is curable. Uh, you know, so if, you know, that will eventually fade. Uh, you just need to know what your, um, what your substitution should be, for instance. So, um, yeah, in terms of carbs, not getting 40% carbs is okay. Like, I, I, you know, I, I don't know off the top of my head. It's been a while. I remember I, I used to know this at, like, what, you know, the, the, uh, the suggested macros for type 2 diabetes are. I have to crack my book on that one. Can't remember everything, guys. Uh, but if you're not getting the, that, that amount of carbs, it's okay as long as you're getting the protein because that's going to help fuel your muscles and still give your body the fuel it needs. You may not have as much energy in terms of like the high intensity stuff, but you can still definitely do it. Um, my suggestion is is definitely work with a, a certified nutritionist that is that specializes in that, not just someone who's like I'm a nutritionist, but knows this stuff to really help you uh, figure out what you need. Like if you if you're serious about this and you want to know, like put a little bit of effort, do some research, do some background. You can probably Google it. I mean nowadays you can Google everything, right? So you really can. Oh. Somebody is giving us their screen. Hey, Jen H, can you meet your... Careful. Whoa. You not know Whoa. what it's going to be. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> um, well, I think that was all the questions we did have. We did have a question about IBS. Um, can they do a nutrition plan? And it's still food. So it's not like anything that's going to really affect IBS. Yeah, again, that's like such a one, I don't want to say a one-off, but like that, that's a, it's like a two-off. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's like a special circumstance. So I think with anything like that, you, you just, you've got to talk with someone that knows that stuff. Like I know muscles and I have some basic nutritional background, but like talk to the nutritionist that really, really knows that stuff uh, to make sure that you, you still can get your macros. Because that's for the program, that's where the results are going to happen is making sure you're giving your body the fuel. You might just, if you have issues like that, type two, type one, IBS, whatever it is, like you might just have to do a little extra work to make sure you're getting those. Um, and there was a, did I mute myself again? No, I'm unmuted. Awesome. Um, so there was a question about being a vegetarian. Are you going to get enough protein on the program? Um, you know I'm vegan. You may not have known that. You may I know. not have known that. I haven't been able to have recover, recharge, anything. And I've been able to have, see, you didn't even know. So I've had to eat more protein than I'm used to, but it's probably the amount of protein that I should be eating, you know? And so this is a good reminder and it makes me more mindful of eating enough for the results I want. And there's a reason that I came into this program with a little bit of fluff on me. It's because I wasn't eating enough. So if I stayed in that lowest bracket, I was not going to have the changes or the results that this program can give you. Right. So I had to bump up and I had to yeah. eat and set the alarms on my phone and be proactive. <laughs> yeah, look, you're, you guys are going to be really surprised at how much you eat in this program. Uh, it, it just is it's crazy. And, you know, and then you're going to figure out how it works into your lifestyle to make sure it's sustainable and, and realistic and you can keep going with that. Um, with that said, look, when it comes to, if, if it's cool, we'll finish on this because I'm not really hungry. Speaking of food, we kept talking about food now I'm dying. You have to remember when it comes to nutrition, um, I, I'm gonna super, super simplify this. Like I, I like to oversimplify things because again, like we're talking to the general population about this. We're not talking to, to doctors and scientists and people who know this stuff. Like let's just, let's, so let's think realistically here. Our bodies are designed, mammals, think about mammals for instance, are designed to hold on to fat. Like look at bears that hibernate. Like our bodies are made to hold on to this stuff because that's fuel. So the body is holding on to this stuff. Now take all the, you know, take all the, the, the frivolous crap, take McDonald's out of it, like that makes you gain weight. But I'm saying our bodies naturally want to hold on to fat because my personal opinion is your body, you can know with, with, with time nutrition, you can definitely kind of train it a little bit, but your body doesn't, oh, hi buddy. Your body doesn't always want, know when it's going to eat again. So its job is to hold on to things. So that way if something happens, 
it's good. It has, it has stores, it has backups, right? Again, that's a very, very oversimplified uh, mindset. Um, so with that, the more consistently you feed your body the stuff that it needs, the less likely it is to freak out and hold on to stuff. Like that's what your body is doing. When it's holding on to stuff, it's like either it doesn't know how to process it or it simply says like, I don't know when I'm going to eat again, so I'm just going to hold on to everything. And then that's, and in turn, when it becomes excess, that's when it becomes fat. So it, again, we could talk about this all night, but it just simply like you guys just seriously relax <laughs> about it. Um, and hi buddy. Say hi. And then uh, I feel like Dr. No from James Bond. I'm like, hello, kitchen, right? Hello, Jen. Or Dr. Evil. Um, <laughs> everybody's like, James Bond. You say Austin Powers, everybody knows it. Anyway, um, yeah, so just seriously, guys, on this is like, it's just to relax. Uh, it works. Lauren, you can talk it. I mean, you, you are so much better to talk to them about this than I am because, like, you've been doing it now and you physically and mentally know how this works um and it, it's good so uh, as, as coaches your guys's job look it's on sale now there's no more questions on timeline i hope it's out it's done 6 11 bam on sale we start 7 16 uh use the hybrid calendar i put i pinned it to my facebook page uh joel freeman fitness on, on facebook it's there use that um and get ready you know get your team get your challenge groups Give them that into this between now and seven sixteen, so they're ready to go. They have they're, they're like it's like a you know, think of this like as a prep month, right? Uh, get them into it, get them ready. We hit seven sixteen, we're good. Your guys' job is to basically just get into this and learn everything you can as much as possible. You don't have to know all the sciencey stuff. Don't worry about that, but just know how this program is going to help all the people that you talk to. That says I can't work out because of this. Like the more you get this figured out then you can go to that person and talk to them and it's easy sale. Like this is, I, I'm so convinced and Lauren, you know, I know I love the business of this. I am so convinced that this is the best time for your business than ever because you have a program that is going to so help you twice. By the way, we're launching this sucker twice. Uh, you've got July 16th and we got the October 1st all access launch. So you guys have so many opportunities to really go after. I think, I, I think it's cool. I really do. I'm excited. It is everything you said and more. It's awesome. If you, I mean, he's answered so many questions for us. Mark, I'm going to try to send him your question, but I know he's about to implode and eat his own stomach. He's talking about the, um, he's an endurance oh, yeah, athlete. Chat box. Uh, let's see, I don't know the answer to this. Endurance athletes, so what would you recommend to train this running? Uh, so training athlete, endurance athlete, um, good on you. That sounds harder. I don't want to do it. Um, Honestly, it's like, look, it's the four days. Like you just mold, so you just mold the things like around your four days. Um, so if you are like endurance athlete, like if it's an Ironman, for instance, I don't know, swim, bike, run, those are three things I hate to do, so I would never do it. Uh, but you can like put your workout days, like basically just try to put your rest days into your training. Uh, oh, just cycling. Okay, cool. So this will actually help you. I promise you because cyclists, I actually, we talked to one of our uh, nutritionists. Uh, Denis is a cyclist. He answers a lot of nutrition questions from Beachbody. He's like the main nutrition guy. He's a cyclist. And I've been like kicking his butt for years trying to get him to work out and lift because he's always coming to me and saying like, his legs are like ridiculous. Like I'm jealous of his legs. He's like this skinny little guy. And he's got these huge legs and I want his legs. But then he's like, I need to lift weights. I'm like, yeah, you do. Like you still have to strength train. You still have to do resistance train. Uh, and, I, and I promise you it's, it's uh, yeah, it's going to help. So just long, it's just like marathon train. If you have a long ride, do that on a rest day, um, not after leg day sort of thing. Yeah. But like do yeah. your long run like on a Wednesday in between the, the, the rest days or something like that. Yeah. What did you I forgot I wasn't muted. I was like, yeah. Yeah. No, you're <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Joel. You stayed on for like an hour with us. We feel really, really special. Answer all our questions. And we got to see your kitty. And um, we'll see you next week. If you yeah. get in. Oh, my God. Summit is like, I leave a week from today for Summit. That is ridiculous. Or as the kids are saying, that's ridiculous. That's, I think you're a little behind the times. They call it Phi. That's Phi. What the hell is that? <laughs> See, I'm just telling you, I'm way up, more up on the lingo as you. That's so Phi. What's Phi? You're going to love our city. I live in Indy and you're going to love it. I can't uh, find her. <laughs> what's, uh, wait, wait, hold on. What's FI stand for? It's like I got fire. It. It's like awesome. It's FI. 
Have y'all noticed that as the generations are advancing, like words are becoming short, like now words are hard for people to say. Like what the hell? Words are hard. Words are hard. Like that's bye. You can't say two syllables. Nope. Whatever. It's 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 still one syllable. Fire. No, it's fire. Yes, yeah, two syllables. That's dumb. Pissing me off. My dad's an English teacher. He'd be ashamed. Um, oh. All right, seriously. I'm jumping off. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, uh, if it wasn't for you, uh, look, I, I'll spend all the time in the world with with, with coaches, with you guys, um, because like, if, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this. And I, I love this. This is phenomenal. This is fun. Like, we did the program. We filmed it. It's crazy. It was fun. And the program's out now, and now it's, it's on you guys. So I want to do everything I can to make sure that you know everything about this program to where you can just, like, go forth and spread the word of Lift 4, because the Lift 4 life, Lauren, Lift 4 life, you know it. You Dude, love it. It is. I'm a Lift 4 lifer, and I yeah. love it. You guys, this, this is good. Like, I swear to God, like, this is going to change the world. We're going to do it. I'm not stopping until it does, but I can't do it without you. So thank you so much. Um, Joel Freeman Fitness, Instagram, Facebook, steal it, share it, re you, tag all my, like repost all my crap. It's all good stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go eat. Love you. Okay. Awesome. Bye, Joel. Bye guys. Okay. He jumped off. Does anybody have any other questions? You can chat, you can, um, somebody asked for uh, transformation photos. I have a, an album on our team page. I'm happy to share with rock stars for sure, because we have everything from week one till current. You're welcome to use anything. They've already been, you know, like, yeah, go ahead, share it. We have testimonies. I've been sharing them in my stories. Please take any of that stuff. Um, I have a bunch of, you know, clips of people talking about what they're doing now that they've been doing lift for like what that's opened up. We have a teacher who hasn't been able to snuggle with her kids in the longest time because she was getting up early and working out before she had to leave for work. And now she gets that time that she hasn't had. She's in like five years. She hasn't snuggled with her kids in the morning. And she was just like, this is amazing. Um, going to the beach, you know, taking um, Moira, Moira Kubacha. She loves to swim. She hasn't swum, swum, swam, swimmed, whatever you do with it what you will she and i used to teach literature like no lie and now it's just gone because i'm speaking like my children Sorry. um she used to swim <laughs> and she hadn't done it in like a year and she was in tears because she's like you guys that was amazing i got to meet a friend we swam it was incredible and i've missed that and what have i been doing i've been shoving a workout in you know i i tell my family wait we can't go to the farmer's market on saturday because mommy's got to get her workout in no we can go whenever we want to. We can sleep in and we can have pancakes and we can do whatever. And it's like people, me included, needed permission. And I needed someone to say, it's okay. Hashtag chill, hashtag relax. You know, and so, so far you got it, Ashley. You got the lingo. Um, and so this program has just been like, like you guys were asking, I'm a seven day a week worker outer. Used to be. Now I'm like, dude, it's Wednesday and I am just gonna, not even think about it, but it's stuff that my body needs. That rest has actually improved the results and it improves the mental capacity to show up on Thursday and really give my all and not be like, gosh, I've already worked out three days a week. And I'm like, I took a rest day, so I better come at it strong. So it's just that whole mindset changes and it's, it's really good, you guys. So when you think eight weeks, this is done. No, this is something you can do forever, literally forever, you know? So I did laps for 50. So good. Like you're going to kick your own butt. If you swim, it's an amazing workout. You don't need to press play on a Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, or your rest days. I, I played tennis three hours the other day and got the best compliment from people saying, I can see how you've improved you can kick my butt on the court because you cannot last me. <laughs> and that comes from, you know, the high intensity interval training and the oxygen debt and the recovery and the strength and it all goes together. So, um, yeah. Any other questions? You guys, I showered for this. Okay. <laughs> and I zoom. Do you guys want to do a boomerang? Like do something for social media? Joel's not on here, but there's a ton of people still on. So it looks really cool. And this fan is tripping me out. Like, if I keep staring at it, there you go. <laughs> I'm looking at Jeanette's fan, and I'm like, ooh. So, we can take a really cool, like, hey, Team Sophie, see you guys next week in Indianapolis.
<laughs> I took a selfie. Okay. Um, anybody, other questions? If not, yeah. Just want to hang out. Nicole's taking like a total selfie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I'm going to say good night and see you guys later. I'll post the recording. Don't know what happened. I have like a mega subscription. I'm retarded. So there you go. I'm sorry. All right. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>